Hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive at Caringba, Sydney. I've got a Porsche, uh, sorry, a, uh, been working on Porsche all day, I forgot to say Touareg. <laughs> anyway, this is actually the same engine as a Porsche. Anyway, they share the same components. Uh, but let me go back to, um, to what I was talking about. So today I just finished setting up the actual timing tools. Uh, it's a really, really hard, <clears throat> a lot of, a lot of people don't even use it because you don't have to when they do things like this because they just they, they put marks on all over the place and just pretty much uh, just change the pump for the sake of it without doing any mark without having the tool on it which you can you can do it I can do it that way if I want to uh, but I prefer to do it the proper way uh, see this one here see how easy it is to lock to go in special tool to lock this up before you take it out that means it's on top to the center so if I go back here look at that just no, you're not, not even forcing it look at that just straight on that means you're on top to the center so you can see there that's one pointing to the top that's only a little mark I put there just to see how out it is before I do the adjustments this is the old pump but the most challenging one is not this one, it's the bottom one. Doesn't matter if you have a hoist or no hoist. It's still really hard to get your hand into. Sorry, bear with me. It's called the crank lock. See that? There's no room whatsoever to put a spanner or a tool in there. You just have to... Uh, that was a really, really painful one. But you must lock the crankshaft in top set center before you do this job so everything is lined up so i finally got it in there it's between the diff and the sump when you see the video it looks like there's a lot of room there but in reality i'll show you what i mean that's where it is let me get us Okay, that's a spanner. That's the spanner that I need to put in there. Look at it, it's already it's bigger than the actual gap. <laughs> but I got it there. Now it's all locked. Now I can remove the the pump. Because now everything's in everything is in sync. Um Alright, I'm back at the top now. Okay, you see that one there as well? That's for the camshaft. So make sure it's lined up as well. All right. That's there. Now I can remove the actual pump and the cam belt and the tensioner and do the job. So all I'm gonna do now is put a note. Put a, put a note here, piece of paper. Please do not start the engine remove crankshaft lock so what i usually do when i finish i gather all the tools make sure the tools are in the actual the toolbox the little um, box in there and then i actually um before i start the car i'm gonna double check make sure everything's off the crankshaft and all these tools are out obviously i take it out but it's only a safety reason why i do it because it's very easy to start the car up without taking the crankshaft tool out i've seen it done when I was working at Volkswagen, uh, uh, in the, not in the city, but actual North Shore. Not Volkswagen, but actual, uh, there was a shop that I was working and the guy forgot to take it out and he cranked it and damaged the crankshaft. Anyway, thanks for watching and please subscribe.